What's going on guys? So today we have ourselves a Hunter Skill Boss Guide. So, uh, in terms of gear, you're going to want to bring your tankiest gear. You can do this as a level 3, it just requires a little bit more um, awareness and you're probably going to want some help. So, uh, get your best tank gear and uh, we'll, we'll uh, resume. Okay, so let's take a look at the gear. So as you can see, you really just kind of have max melee. Um, again, you're going to want to have the best melee defense possible because you cannot prey against the monster. Uh, so the monster spawns, or the, uh, the skill boss spawns, every 30 minutes or so, and it will show up over yell. I uh, just logged in a minute ago, so I'm not 100% sure on what the time is. I will resume when it is live. So actually, while we wait, let's, uh, let's show off all the other mechanics. We'll show off everything. So this thing spawns every 30 minutes or so, but you can actually prep for it if you wanted to, or if you really plan to do this. I would think this boss would really apply for most of the people who um, are working on training Hunter, because this is probably the best Hunter experience in the game. Um, level 3s that are going for the Polymeth Cape, who need uh, Slayer and Invention. This is a good way to get those because of all the bookcases you'll get. So, uh, when you're here, start off by searching the chest 1. You can tell it's chest 1 because there's only 1. You can tell this is chest 2 because there's 2. And then this one is 3 because there's 3. And it also has examine options. So. You're going to search the chest, just keep spam clicking it, and watch your YouTube. And then come back to hopefully it. So there we go, we have this first part. Once you have the part, there's no point in searching that chest anymore. You go to the next one. Keep searching. The rates of this are um, really constantly, I'm just changing it until like, we can find a really good balance, a really good balance on, uh, on, um, you know the perfect amount of time it should work and again it's it's you can do this while it's running around attacking you or you can do some like pre-prep it's really a hundred percent your call uh, whenever you're searching these chests you also have a chance of getting these rare golden spears now people know what the golden spears are you've gotten them from the event um, if you guys are wondering how to use those I'll, uh, I'll explain that in a little bit but you do have a chance of getting those from from searching here as you can see, we got the first one pretty easy, but the second one's a little, a little stubborn, a little stubborn. And if you're trying to like fight the boss at the same time, this can be a little annoying. So we're definitely looking for. Um, oops, we just got the golden spear. I thought we got the legit one, but um, so there's the golden spear and uh, another one. We got some hunter experience. For whatever reason, hunter will not show a thingy here. We've tried to fix that a couple times. I have no clue why it does that or how to control that. But there we go, second part, and then rinse and repeat once you have finished the spear. So the actual normal spear does. 40 damage and then the golden spears do 100 so realistically we need to buff the uh, amount of getting these because we, we ended up getting more golden spears than we did the original spear um, but all in all this uh, is definitely worth doing and it's sort of uh, it's it's it, the boss is kind of sc is, is scaled basically um, so if you throw a spear on it and we'll sh I'll show that in a little bit once it, whenever it spawns you will get scraps which is like the currency so you don't have to actually kill it. You don't have to do all of the damage every single time you throw one. It's you. You get a reward based on how much effort you put in. So you can't just stand here, throw one spear, and then you know expect a, a massive loot at the end. Uh, so we'll keep spamming this to show it to you. Um, and I'll show you the process. And there it is. There's the third spear part. So combine them all. You create the ready spear. And there you go. Rinse and repeat. Keep doing it. Try to get more spears. This is the easiest teleport to get to. So I would recommend not coming here. Uh, the teleports are all somewhat far away. There is an item called Hunter's Talisman, which um, people have. You can get it from this, and you can also currently get it from the event. And I think another way, but I don't remember the other way. But uh, uh, And it'll teleport you to all the spots. So if you're really just kind of looking to do prep work, it might be better to either just come here just because it's quick, or go to Karamja because Karamja is the furthest away. Um, because of the event right now, there's a lot of people that are actually paying attention to Hunter Steel Boss, so hopefully we can get we can get there in time just to show you guys off the mechanics. So let me sh let me go over the rewards. So you get these minerals whenever you throw a spear, and when you when it when it actually dies, you'll get a big bonus at the end as well. Uh, so you have a bookcase, which is what I was talking about earlier, basically gives you a random tome and or gear. You have the title, which I believe is Hunterish. Um, you have the loot crate, which is sort of the main thing to open. Uh, you have raid box, if you really want to grind something out, that's another way to get a raid box. And then the pet gamble for the hunter pet. I believe the chances of one in a hundred. Uh, 
if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so obviously, loot crate is probably the main thing you're going to go for. Or if you're one of those people that just wants to save up for that raid box, by all means. Okay, so it is live. Hunter teleport. Let's go to, you know, or a fellow dip teleport. So I don't know uh, any other faster way to get there other than the hunter talisman. So I'll just kind of show you live how to get there, or at least how I'm getting there. I believe this is the best possible way. Um, I think there is a Castle Wars teleport if you make a dueling ring. I believe it'll work. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> Do not quote me on that, but... Um, even still, if, if it did work, I'm not sure if that would be faster than this. I don't, I don't really know. So you're basically just kind of going for, um, the area right above, uh, red chins on, on old school on RSRS, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, right where that first, like, the big chin spot, the chin spot that everybody knows about. <laughs> You'll see what I mean when I get there. So we got, we ain't got an X. No, we do not have an X. I would say Vasa is probably the closest thing. Vasa is definitely our hardest boss. He knows that. Tell me, Bear. Isn't, do I know that? Isn't, oh, you know what? I'm thinking of giving your stuff. So, a little bit more south. You'll see the Orlando Smith dude, and you'll see a, like a hunting expert um, on the mini map. And you'll obviously in. Is this over here? Yep, right here. So, yes, obviously being the only person here is going to uh, kind of suck, but let's uh, throw our spears, boom, you can see we get scraps right there. The amount you get is random, obviously goalie spears have the best chance. Uh, we might need, like, food. I was hoping someone might help. Uh, we'll see. Uh, so we're at second piece, we need the third one. Um, zoom out a little bit. Zoom out a little bit down yeah um, luckily you can sort of get stuck on a lot of things it's not the brightest monster in the world um, and I'm completely fine with that being part of the lower part of the strategy because I think it would make sense I would think that you wouldn't want to just stand right next to it and let it smack you so uh, just rinse and repeat and saw we did a, a fair bit of damage it starts off with 4k health and we're already at one loot crates worth so we'll uh, continue I'll show you if there's any more mechanics. He does have some special attacks. There's not really much of a way to avoid them. If I'm not mistaken, a Din's Bulwark. Uh, let me double check the code before I promise that. Right, so, so I just want to make sure I was not lying to you. So the uh, if you have a Din's Bulwark, it actually protects you from that special attack you just used. So Din's Bulwark is, is, is definitely the best uh, tank item to have here. Other than that, it, it actually can't one-shot you. That um, Well, it's, it sort of can't. Uh, basically, he has his normal attacks where he's just smacking you, and then whenever he does do that health, it actually does check for your your your, your HP. So if you, it can't that that attack specifically can't kill you, but his other attacks can. So I uh, I think if you bring the amount of food that I've brought, you'll you'll be okay. You, you might like in this location, you might want to bring a little bit more just because it's a little annoying to get back to. The like Canifus one is pretty easy to get to. You essentially just teleport there. Uh, unfortunately, this last crate is right behind him, so he's definitely going to smack me. What if we hide behind it? There we go. Look at that. Look at that safe spot. Safe spot. Oh, no, I'm not safe spotting because I'm getting close. I, oh, no, we got the, the part, though. We'll uh, combine this. Personally, I would think it makes more sense to... Oh, I'm retarded. I thought I had spear piece one. I, that was actual spear. Also, just realizing that, that that doesn't update your HP, I'll have to fix that. So, I will uh, resume when this thing is closer to being dead, because obviously this could take a minute. So, even though you do get scraps from using spears on it, um, so theoretically you could just use all your spears and leave, I would strongly recommend killing it, because if it actually dies, it gives whoever killed it a nice little bonus. And I believe everybody who does damage to it gets a bonus as well. I think it's just whoever does the most damage gets the, the bigger bonus. Um, and it's roughly like 6, 7k scrap. So it's almost a loot crate on its own. So if you can, I would recommend staying. And if you do end up taking a long time, it can actually despawn and go somewhere else. So just be cautious of your time. And it might be a little better. If you really plan to like go out of your way to do this, like if you're going for a 99 Hunter, um, which you can see I'm sort of going for 99 Hunter, it might be worth it to stockpile a bunch of golden spears from either the event right now when you're when you're watching this the event should be live when it when this video first comes out 
And then if the event isn't out, I would recommend just going to a different spot. Maybe a spot where it isn't at, or just when it's not spawned. And just doing a little prep, getting your, some spears early. You can do it at any point, in any location. There's no, um... Oh, right, right. Forgot how I was doing it. I'm doing it this way now, just to sort of avoid the most damage. If you hide behind your crates, you should take a lot less damage. Let's throw some more at him. we got a couple saved up. See how close he is. Just sitting here regaining health. I actually don't know if he... I, I assume he can regain health, but, uh... About uh, halfway, I guess that was not worth throwing them because he's damaging me all over the place now. Just just save up when you know you have enough to kill him. So I am too slow. I was not able to get enough spheres, and it has uh, moved on to Karamja. Now if you try to do anything to it, it'll say you can't reach it. Uh, yeah, unfortunate. Unfortunate. You, you, do, you are going to want to do it a lot faster. It's really meant for multiple people, so doing it by yourself is just not recommended. We did get 22k scraps, so let me use this on uh, loot crates. I'll show you what loot crates look like. And then what I'll do is I'm going to go camp the event a little bit, get a bunch of golden spears, and I'll just kind of show you how that works for people. Because that's probably going to be most people's first, first go at this boss, is just using up your golden spears. And I'll show you how that works. Uh, it'd be nice if we can get a loot, uh, if we can get a hunter talisman here. You're always guaranteed clue boxes. You're guaranteed these supplies right here. And then you get a uh, rare item. So all in all, not bad. Is spawned in the Gnome Stronghold. I'll show you where that's at. This is one of the easy ones to get to. Got a good chunk of spears. Hopefully this is enough to finish it. I didn't actually do any math or anything. I was just kind of hoping for the best. Oh, we died. Alright, so I accidentally killed it before I could show it, but uh, basically you don't get anything, or it doesn't tell you what you get, but you do get a bunch of scraps. So, um, I did get some from my bank, so I don't know if this is a, a fully accurate amount that you would get from this, but I, I, did a, I did one of these before, and this is roughly what I got, so you could generally expect something similar to this. So then just spam click for your loot crates. Oh, we're a little bit off of another one. Let's, uh... Oh, Unsired. That's pretty nice. I'm definitely not playing Fortnite at the same time I'm making this video. And I'm definitely... Okay, we're good. And I'm not in Storm anymore. Black Mask. And then Hunter level 58. Honestly, for Hunter experience, that probably wasn't as good as I expected it to be. I thought that it would be a lot more experience. That was a lot of effort for that little of experience. The loot's nice. Let's see what we get from this. Would have loved a pet, but I will happily take that. That's perfectly fine by me. All the clue boxes and all the base rewards are very nice. Um, yeah, I'm thinking ex up the experience. I, I feel like this isn't even like a viable method for Hunter. I got. It's not even good Hunter experience. I'm going to definitely look into this. All right. But that's the beauty of making videos like this. You can learn. I hope you learned something. This was a guide after all. Thanks for watching. Bye.